Let's talk conservation uh, very quickly. The world observing Shark Awareness Day tomorrow. Uh, and it's not just about talking what great animals they are. Experts predicting shark populations uh, could decrease by more than 70%. And they certainly have in the last 50 years, and they're continuing to go down. Now, the aim of the day is to dispel the fear. We've all seen those movies. You know what I'm talking about. Uh, the stigma and misinformation surrounding sharks. We're also raising awareness about the predicament of uh, the species. They're an apex species, some would argue as well. Let's bring in uh, to the conversation shark scientist uh, Sopo Malela Kroma uh, joining us from Umschlanga uh, down in KZN this evening. And uh, Sopo Malela, good evening to you. And I don't quite understand why we're having a shark's species crisis. Aren't they apex editor? Uh, I beg your pardon, apex uh, predators? Yeah, no, definitely. Sharks are known to be apex predators, and we we, we still know that as as truth. Um, even though nature taking its its route, it's it's kind of proving us wrong, or the fact that uh, we as humans don't know much, uh, as we have seen uh, recently with orcas starting to predate on great whites. Even though that's not the only um, species that they feed on, but it raises a huge alarm um, in the population for great white sharks. I'm going to ask you in a moment, just ex explain to me the lame and what it means for uh, population control in our country's oceans. But before we get there uh, as well, what seems to have sparked this? Because I was seeing some, uh, some research about the, co the Cape Coast seashores uh, regarding unusual feeding behavior that's actually targeting white sharks. They're being attacked, if I, if I read that correctly. What's going on? Yeah, so basically, um, there's these two individuals known as uh, Port and Starboard. They have started this feeding frenzy, uh, well, we started uh, documenting it when it happened in Hansby. And um, the great white sharks to this day have not returned into the area. And the, what are they, orcas, the, or are they, are they other sharks? Are they orcas, or are they sharks? What are they? Orcas, so it's okay. killer whales. Yeah. So why is that happening? Yeah. Is that yeah. unusual? It is. It, it is, you know. Orcas are known to adapt with their feeding, um, but it's, it's a recent thing that we've, we started noticing that they actually um, attack while well, feeding on great white sharks. And mm. the, I think the, 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 what makes the story more prevalent is the fact that, you know, it's two individuals. We have many orcas that have passed through Mosul Bay, even, you know, Hans Bay in our beaches, in our oceans. But it's two individuals that are doing this currently. So I think that's, that's what raises a huge alarm. It's just like, yeah, we're only seeing it on those individuals. You've got to be a very brave orca to go after a great white shark uh, as well. And now there's two of them, so they're almost ganging up uh, on the great white sharks yeah. as well. So what's this doing to, to the population and the, and the species control uh, of the other uh, uh, fish in the area at the moment? Because we know sharks, of course, they're predators, but they also maintain uh, part of the ecosystem. So what does this mean on a broader scale? Yeah, so basically, just to, to paint a picture for people, what actually happens when the octopus come through and attack um, or feed on a great white shark, what happens to other great white sharks, they disperse. We still don't know yet in which areas they go to. Um, obviously, when that happens, we see <laughs> actually so much joy when it comes to seals and all of that because there's no predator. And um, you... Be, depending on how much they leave in an area, you can see an influx of, 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 of seals, let's say. Let's focus on the seal, like in a food warp. And we're not sure what would happen, um, basically, in a food chain if we take away predators, because that's what actually happens when the orcas come through the, the, the bay. As I say goodbye to you, uh, is there a, I don't mean to be crude about this, but is there a body count for the number of great white sharks that have been attacked by these orcas, it just still sounds weird to say killer whales attacking great whites. But here we are. Uh, have we? Do we know a number of great whites that have been killed like this? Look, I can speak uh, for Mosul Bay. Um, so recently, I think with Mosul Bay, we are about uh, six attacks. I stand to be corrected. Um, and what happened recently with those pictures that you see there? 
uh, these two individuals killed two uh, great white sharks in 24 hours. And um, recently we've seen that it takes about six to seven weeks for the great white sharks to come back. And what has happened last year is that the great white sharks would be in the area for about two to three weeks and these orcas come through again and do the same thing. So we're quite worried in Mosul Bay if um, our fate will be similar to what is happening in Hansbai. But we hope that we will be able with technologies that are coming up uh, to come up with uh, mm. a way to, to actually protect them. I'm, I'm going to ask you very quickly in less than 30 seconds, tell me what Shark Awareness Day means uh, for a scientist like you. Yeah, for me, it's, it's actually showing a side for the species that people don't know. Sharks are one of the misunderstood species, and um, I was one of those people that were scared of them and didn't want to be around them or even hear the word, actually. And the minute I started working with them, you see the characters, you see, um, you know, they, their own shark or persons, you know? And um, it's a matter of us actually uh, respecting their, their place and learning to interact with it. And I hope that in this day, we can, with our content that's going out there, we can actually show a different side of sharks. Yeah, I don't think sharks are at all like what we saw in Jaws. I think they're like the sharks from Finding Nemo, and that's my story, and I'm sticking to it. Uh, thank you very much indeed for your time. Sharks are friends, not food. Uh, Super Malela Koma, thank you very much indeed uh, for your time. Astonishing. So two killer whales are targeting great white sharks uh, in Hans Bay and Mossel Bay. I feel like we need to have a much longer conversation about that. doesn't seem quite right, does it? doesn't make any sense. Uh, but we are going to say goodbye for this evening. Thank you very much uh, for being part of the show. Thank you to the team, as always, behind the scenes. I'm back with you tomorrow morning on the South African Morning. Still plenty coming up for you uh, this evening here on ENCA. In